What's the key to the game for Jimmy Garoppolo? Jack. He's got to get the ball out. He's got to, yeah. he has got, he, Garoppolo struggles if he doesn't get the ball out when he hits his last step. You see it. Right. There was a, a, a tweet that came out today that from PFF that followed a, another one that I had sent out where it shows that that he's one of the worst quarterbacks in the league if he holds on to the ball past two and a half seconds. Uh, his rating drops down to, I think, 53. So if if uh, if he's not able to get the ball out quick, it's going to be a long day for the 49ers. Good answer, Jack. I, I'd say Jimmy has to hold on to the ball. I was touching on earlier the Patriots – create a lot of fumbles on their speed rushes, but not hold on to the ball. I mean, two points. I was like, oh, you're really going after Jack. No, here. no, okay, no, okay. sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I meant like, do, do not turn the don't ball fumble. over. Don't fumble. Yeah, yeah, don't don't fumble. Don't turn the ball over. Drew Locke almost lost the game for the Broncos last week by throwing two really bad picks against the Patriots. They will create turnovers. They, they have a lot of good defensive backs. I think short passes to the, close to the line of scrimmage is what they're going to do with Garoppolo. And I, I think as long as he doesn't have any Kittle overthrows, I, I think he should be fine for what the game plan is going to be. Don't panic. Uh, that's what it comes to Jimmy Garoppolo, because what I've noticed, especially in that Miami game, which they're going to play similar defense, it's he looks at his target, which say George Kittle. They use uh, cover one with the, as well as a zone with the linebacker over there. Instead of waiting for that zone to open, he just looked off Kittle, went to the next guy, went to the next guy, and he just looked off people way too fast and didn't understand when the zone was going to open up for him. So he does cannot panic and anticipate that throwing window. Don't move off your receivers too fast. And I think mentally he'll be okay because he's going to go back to New England where everything was all good. He was on top of the world, just being Tom Brady's backup, winning Super Bowls. He's going to have some of that Boston food. And he's played against this defense plenty of times. So it's just, don't panic, be free, and hit the throwing, hit the throw in that throwing window. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that hard for him to read the defense. I think he knows what he's going to see. He's going to see press man coverage uh, with double coverage on George Kittle, which is going to be a t- it's disrespect. I mean, they say they like Jimmy Garoppolo, but that's the book on Jimmy Garoppolo. Get in his wide receiver's faces, make him hold the ball, make him get to his second read, and you win. So with Jimmy Garoppolo, I mean, it's not like he's going to have to decipher, is it quarters, is it cover two? I think he's going to see a lot of man coverage, and what he needs to do is, before the snap, find the matchup that works. And I don't think it's going to – we've talked about this. I don't think it's going to be his wide receivers. I mean, it might be Kendrick Bourne, although it might not be. Who's who's the number three corner on, on the – on the Patriots, JC Jackson, he's I good. Think, I think Jones goes in the slot a little more. Okay, okay, but they still have three good corners, so I, I, he needs to be able to accurately spot his matchups pre-snap. And if it's Born, great. If it's IU, great. It's not going to be IU. It's not going to be Devo. It's going to be Use Check. It's going to be Trent Taylor. Kidding. It's going to be uh, Dwelly. It's going to be McKinnon. It's going to be Wilson. He needs to spread the ball around and get the ball to people who have actual matchup advantages because not many people on this offense do in this game. So he needs to be really judicious pre-snap and not like lean on his security blankets. Like, I'm going to Kittle. I'm going to Kittle. No, can't do that. You can go to Kittle a few times, but if you force it to him, you're going to lose. Right. And I guess what I was saying on when he was playing his best football, he was throwing guys open last year, uh, say, when they had – Emmanuel Sanders against the Arizona. The, the main thing is when once Emmanuel Sanders broke off that route to the outside, the ball was already in his lap. So he was throwing guys open. And then uh, when he wasn't on, he wasn't throwing guys open. He was looking off them as similar to George Kittle in the Super Bowl. He was wide open if he just understands, hey, Kittle's got one-on-one here. I throw the ball here. That's a first down all game, but he didn't do that. He just looked him off real quick, went to the next guy. I guess that's what I'm alluding to here. And that's where you saw a bad Jimmy this year is when Garoppolo was just looking off Kittle way too fast. It's going to be tough for him. He's going to see what he saw against Miami. Let's see if he's improved from it. He seems like the kind of guy who does improve from bad experiences. 